Yo, what up? It's your boy Marfimo Mo Beats, and I'm back with another tutorial on Beatmaker 3. Uh, this is another question that um, people have been asking me. How am I ex exporting and importing my sounds into BM3? For those that were used to using the FTP transferring in BM2, uh, as of right now, Beatmaker 3 doesn't have that option. The options that they have, they have um, iCloud. You can use your iCloud and you can use Dropbox. And the iTunes uh, option where you can import your stuff into iTunes, but uh, I don't never use that. And I'm not a fan of the Dropbox, nor, the, nor a fan of the iCloud. So I was at a crossroad. I was talking back and forth with the owners of the company inquiring about FTP transferring. They do believe that it's something that's important and valid, but due to the whole app platform with Apple and stuff, uh, it's going to take a little twisting and turning to get that popping. So uh, as of now, they don't have the FTP transferring and uh, I don't, I believe that's no I don't think there's a time frame on if they're going to be doing it. Uh but who knows what the future holds. But I found another alternative that uh something that I used to do way back in the day even using uh beat uh when I was using BM2 before I got into the FTP transfer. It's this app called I Explore and I'm going to pull it up. I Explore and once you open it up, you'll see that my device is not connected. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my USB cord, my lightning cord, and I'm going to plug into my iPad, and it should come up momentarily. And as you can see, you see the information to my iPad has came up. So then what, you, what I would do next, go to File, go to Apps, and then you will see all my programs here, right? See Animoog, Arteria, ISM, Audio Bus, Audio Bus 3, Beatmaker 2, and Beatmaker 3. So then I will click on Beatmaker 3. There we go. I will open that. Then you have Document, Library, Store Kit, and Temp Files. You're going to hit click on Document. And as you can see, you see all my drum kits. And from from this point, it's basically just drag in and drag out. Uh, for example, let's just drag a joint in. All right. If you was paying attention down at the right hand uh, corner, you can see that it uploaded and that file is in the folder. So and then once I put once I open up Beatmaker, um, I should be able to just go to that folder that it's in. And it should be right there. And if I want to pull it out, just drag just like that. And then I can delete it as well. Just that simple. So I think this is the best way uh, for me. And I may not be for you, but it's for me. Uh, I think this moves faster than exporting and importing through Dropbox. Um, it's just a simple drag and open it up from like that uh and you can purchase this app on the line it's called i explore i definitely recommend this joint so uh yeah just wanted to drop in and give you all that quick tutorial on how i'm exporting my sounds all right till next time grace and peace